Dude, the fact that if I wear glasses anytime leading up to recording and I take them off right before, it just looks like I, my nose is bruised. Those lacking proper vision, rise up! But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. The saga of Vinland continues today with Ragnarok. Very chilling sort of title for the episode though, because isn't Ragnarok some like foretold event? I don't know, God of War taught me some stuff about that. But we're back. We met Thorkel last time in absolute giga chad and sort of another connection for Thor to make at least to his father's past gonna hop right into this one if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub drop a fat like on this one and let's get started somebody blast volume or is it just me oh my gosh bro why did i crank my volume Thorkel! he's just chugging bro is garb for real oh my gosh <laughs> Dude, he's gonna die and I'm just not gonna be happy. Oh, the dome head. 4,000 V Thorkel. Dude! Dude! Imagine being that powerful. Oh, this is a canute. <laughs> my brain like malfunctioned for a second that's his i was like that's his dad yeah canute the prince and canute was put in charge of these men these four thousand i mean it's been teasing canute a lot but like he hasn't said a word or even seen his face what is he supposed to do all day canute the prince of denmark oh he might go out after him the second prince, highest canoe. Oh no. Oh no. Freaking Thorgal is like, all right, well, they're not coming here. I'm just going to go for them. He knows that if he just hard targets canoe and goes for the prince, they have to fight him. They, they quite literally have no choice. They have to defend his highness. Oh, never mind. We're back. There's a little Thorfinn. Oh. I hope his mom and sister are okay and they get to like reunite one day. Oh, it's gonna turn into a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, no, we're good. All of them in Vinland together. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, Thor's. Dang. He's still so dead set on, on de defeating Askeladd, killing Askeladd. And all the clouds go gray. It's the second time he's sort of I, that we've seen where he's dreaming about this. He's actually thinking about these things that his father told him or would tell him. What's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, though, that makes Thorfinn actually try to go home and abandon this mission to kill Askeladd? <laughs> what could happen to his mom and sister while he's not there? Oh my gosh. Vinland! One million percent! I hope Venlin we get to see it one day and it isn't just stories. It's actually as beautiful as he thinks. It lives up to his wildest dreams. I have a really bad feeling it won't. Oh, there's a guy he killed. Okay. Outskirts of Bath. Both? Oh. The pillages continue. Almost winter already? Yeah, they have a hundred men. Asquad's not gonna overplay his hand, attack giant cities and stuff. That's how he's gotten this far, is knowing his limits, I think. Ten years! Well, like with how little they got? Uh-oh. Tore? Wait, they fight consistently? They're fighting because they have leftover energy from only pillaging small towns. The sunrise. Hmm. Maybe like the true mission or the true uh, theme is like, he says it's beautiful just like my dream, like anywhere can be Vinland. Oh. Is Asquad alone up here? Oh, damn. Have we ever had, like, just a one-on-one -on -one with them? Yeah, it's pent-up anger. The <laughs> testosterone, man. Well, 
Seriously, yeah. Mm -hmm. But does he want that to be his whole purpose? Yeah. Mm. And who will come after us? The inevitability. Time Zero marches. Dang, bro. And he's equating it to Thorfinn's entire purpose. How civilizations come past, his life will come and pass. And how long will it take for him to find that purpose? Oh, Ragnarok is supposed to come in 20 years from now. Mm. Damn. What a sick moment. What? My binoculars is. Who is that? Oh, he's got a stick. Uh oh, someone's about, to, someone's about to go down. From Ragnar's unit? Oh no, what happened? Hmm. About Thorkel? Oh, they know he's going. The 4,000. Oh, wait, no, the unit laying siege to London is 4,000. Yeah, they're, they're going for the main one? Defeated a long time ago? What? The 4,000 were? What? They already won! They already went after him! Wait, what of Canute then? And Canute escaped? He was here! Damn! Bro, what a unit! How do you beat? Him. Oh my gosh. Thorkel has the death wish. Oh, they just straight up escaped. Oh my gosh. Wait, but Kanu would have escaped. The, the soldier would have told them. Oh, they captured him. Okay, took him alive. He knows people will come after him if he has Kanu. It's like it, it attracts them. Dude. Oh my god, Thorkel is crazy. Oh, shoot. He said we might as well, baby. What, no tie that they ever got word? Oh no, they are gonna go. What's the point of killing him? Not going to ask for help. Oh my gosh. True. Hey, ask about all about that paper, baby. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Askeladd's crew versus Thorgels, bro. Oh no. You have a plan for winning. He knows how motivated they are. Especially like that was why they were fighting. The age of Twilight. So he's telling Thor Thorben. Oh my gosh. He like inspired himself out of that speech. Well, one will fall. Askeladd or Thorkel. And it is going to be bloody, I can tell. Dude! Oh, man, it set that up like crazy. I thought Canute was like, I don't I don't know why. It, it has teased Canute a lot. But it's been very secretive of the way it's done it. Like, not really showing his face. I mean, kind of just showing that he's a very passive ruler. And Ragnar kind of makes the decisions for him. Even when all 4,000 were being attacked. Like, they kind of got jumped on because they were just sitting around. Now, would, would Canute and all his men want if they had uh, tried to attack Thorkel and London Bridge? Probably not, no. But they should have just left, quite frankly. They kind of already knew they had no chance against Thorkel. But man, I could, I was like holding my breath that entire scene with Askeladd and Thorfinn and how just it, it, it gut punched me. But like I said, it's like he inspired himself, like telling Thorfinn, like recognizing the pattern in Thorfinn's actions and how it won't stop until he kills Askeladd. He's like, yeah, maybe you will fulfill and, and that'll be it. But one day you will be the the weak one and someone else is going to be the strong one that's why he doesn't really care if thorfinn keeps going after him because he's like he's like yeah well, one day you will win it's, it's really not that big of a deal man he's very realistic about his limits like i said as he has been the entire show and then showing thorfinn very quickly he lives by his own words and that he's not going to just play passively and pillage these really small villages every single year year by year that's why it showed the conversation of the two asglad men who were like i don't even know if we're gonna make it this year like we've all we've only 
only attacked like small places. Although, what was France then, bro? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for my reaction today. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace!